What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the story of Dwayne, so let's just get right into it. So, Dwayne is a past manager of mine from the Canadian Tire that I work at in the service section, and I'm just going to talk a little bit of the backstory, and then I'll lead into the big incident that happened on his last day. So, Dwayne came from Ottawa, he was a mechanic in Ottawa, and from Ottawa to our store, from a big Canadian Tire in a big city to a smaller Canadian tire in a small town, we do things completely different. So in the big city, what they do is whoever's in service gets to just answer the phones, talk to customers, book appointments, close work orders, which is a typical thing for service sections to do. Um, but if they needed anything for the shop, they'd always get the parts people to get anything they needed for the shop. So it's really frustrating, but in a big city, it works. In a small town, however, we're supposed to be more of like a team effort. We're always willing to help everybody out. We're supposed to always help things out. But he just wouldn't. He treated it as a big city, so he expected us to get everything for the shop for him while he literally just stood around all the time. And that's just not the case. That's not how we do things in a small town. We tried telling him it didn't work. And the worst part is he started charging customers more for things. And customers were bitching at us, which is uncalled for and really unprofessional in my opinion. So what would happen, for example, is if the job on the computer said it called for three hours, if it only cost or if it only took the mechanic two hours, we usually only charge them two hours, but he was charging them the three hours. Customers were complaining because they knew it only took two hours and he was just doing things ass backwards. They might do that in a big city. I'm not sure of that, but in a small town, that's something we never did. We just charged them for how long it actually took them. We didn't charge them what the computer said because... A lot of times, the what says and what is written in the computer comes from somebody sitting in an office, so it honestly doesn't usually line up to how long it actually takes a mechanic to do something. So he was literally just pissing off customers, and he always expected us to run around, get everything for him, and he'd just stand there. If customers came up to him asking for parts, he'd send them our way instead of just looking up the part for them on the computer, even if they just wanted to quote. So it was just more work for us. Um, whenever we were dealing with stocks, when the truck came and we had to put stuff on the shelves, he wouldn't help out with any of that. And that's just not how we do things at a small Canadian tire at our location. At least we used to always help. Everybody would help everybody out. And that's just how Canadian tires have always worked in my opinion, especially small ones. And he just wasn't doing that right. So the big incident actually occurred on his last day. We were actually fed up for a while and we were Every time he'd ask us to get him something, we'd say, uh, here's the keys to the container. Go and get it yourself. We have other things to do. And he used to always try to get us in shit with the other managers. And they'd come down on us. And we're like, hey, we're doing all this stuff. And we'd start listing out everything we're doing. Meanwhile, he's not doing anything. And they just, honestly, they never caught on. They would always see that he's right in his opinion. And they always can back him up because he's a fellow manager but it's just, it was completely wrong. One day, uh, we actually had to change around the oil shelves and adjust them because the manufacturer wanted to add new bottles out. So we had to raise up all the shelves. So that's a two-day job. And I was the only one booked in to do that. So they actually called in some help just to help with that. So I was in charge of helping customers, but also doing this big job as well, moving our big oil rack around. And the helpers were not supposed to help out on the floor at all. And whenever it came to lunch, they went for lunch the same time I did because they're not supposed to be there anyway. So it honestly wasn't anybody's concern of when they took their lunch because they're not supposed to be helping customers anyways. And he honestly complained because he was left alone for one whole hour and he just didn't think that was right. So we got yelled at for it. We tried to explain it because they're not supposed to be there anyways, but it, they just never listened. So he just liked causing problems in my opinion. And so here's what happened on the last day. Um, it was just me and him working the counter. There was one mechanic in the shop and there came a job that needed tires from out in the container. And I was extremely busy that day. I was running around trying to help customers find them stuff, doing stock, doing a whole bunch of stuff that day. It was insane. But he came over demanding that I went and got the tires, but he didn't tell me to go get them and bring them in. He told me word for word to just go and make sure they're out there. He didn't know if they're out there. So I'm like, okay, I'll go do that. And then once I do that, I have other stuff to do. I can't be running around for you anymore. 
So I was a little bit ticked, but I went out there, checked to make sure they're there. I brought them outside of our container because we have a lot of tires in a shipping container. Put them right outside the door, went in and told them, yeah, they're there. So then all of a sudden he started yelling at me saying, where are the tires? I need them right now for an appointment, which he did not say the appointment was here. He did not say that he needed them right now. He just wanted to make sure they were there. And I said, yeah, they're right outside the container right over there at the very back of a property. And I told him, you can just go back there and bring them in. I said, they're out there waiting for you. Um, and then that blew up and he started yelling and screaming, saying, no, that's not his job, telling me that I have to go and do it. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. I have other stuff to do. You're backing me up on my other stuff. I still have to get it done before I leave, no matter what. I said, you can get off your ass and go and get the tires yourself. The cart's right there. The tires are right there. You can go and do that. I got other stuff to do. So I proceeded to walk to the other end of my counter where I usually do all my work. And then he yells over, yeah, it's just because you're effing lazy. And that honestly was the last straw with me because I am one of the hardest working people over there in my opinion. And there's only one other person that's a hard worker there as well. And she wasn't in at the time, but uh, it was my last straw because he's always standing around. He was always telling us what to do, but he wasn't doing anything himself. So I yelled over at him and I said, yeah, you're saying I'm lazy. And I got extremely pissed off. I went into the back because the mechanic was actually grabbing something. I said, did you just hear all of this? Uh, him yelling and cursing and swearing at me and we're kind of yelling back and forth. He's like, yeah, I heard it all. And I said, okay, good. I said, I'm going upstairs. I'm dealing with this right now. I went upstairs into the office. The lady was on the phone. The other uh, lady that was under her, she was there. She's like, what what, what's going on? So I kind of told her and she's, and I'm kind of shaking because I was ready to deck the guy. Like I, I was ready. I was going to like just knock him out. And whenever the lady got off the phone, I explained what happened. I said, so right now you have a choice. I said, you can either deal with them right now or I'm going home for the day because I'm not fucking putting up with this. I am done. I am not doing it anymore. And I'm just, I'm ready to go home right now. So I said, what's going to be done? So she said, okay, go stand or go in the uh, break room, put on the TV, just relax for a couple minutes. I'm going to get the store manager to go talk to him. So that's what happens. And then uh, whenever it was done, I went back downstairs and the manager was talking to me, um, the one that actually told him he had to leave. And what had happened is he went over to him. He said, uh, what just happened with Jason? He goes, oh, nothing. I just asked him to go get some tires. And then the manager goes, um, it had to be more than that. He's upstairs. He told us what happened, what exactly happened. And he said, nothing happened. I just needed tires. So then uh, the manager spoke up and said, you know what? It's time for you to leave. You can just leave right now. And the manager or my service manager said, okay, fuck it. I'm just leaving. And he got his stuff, got in his car and sped off. And he went back to Ottawa because he still lived in Ottawa, which we thought was really stupid. Why come all the way out here for that? But that was the story of Dwayne. Honestly, one of my worst managers. I do have a terrible manager right now. Maybe whenever I leave my current job, I will talk a little bit about him. Comment down below if you guys want me to do that. But I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me make more videos like this for you guys in the future. And I'm going to be making more stories about work soon anyway. So expect to see that. But I'll leave this one here. Please take care. Peace.